Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. So, Marie Kondo, you didn't know who she was, many of you, now you do. She's pretty impressive. And I hope she and the Airbnb Open are sparking joy in you. Yes? Oh, great, thank you, thank you. Um, you know, actually the name Airbnb Open is sort of curious and odd. Uh, I love it because we're open-hearted and we're open homes. But the truth is, for the rest of the world out there, much of what we do is sort of curious, and it's behind closed doors. The truth is, you, you welcome people into your home. The rest of the world doesn't see that. You communicate with people back and forth on the internet. The rest of the world doesn't see that. What we love about the Airbnb Open, and the fact this is becoming an annual event, is it's the one time of the year where we take what happens behind closed doors, and we open it up to the public. And we're doing that in all kinds of ways right now. We have 80 different journalists here who have already written some phenomenal articles in the first day. Thank you to our media and journalists who are here who are spreading the word. Many of you are tweeting and telling people we've had thousands and thousands of tweets out there already. And so the world, the world is hearing about us. Other hosts who are not here are hearing about us. Uh, and so thank you for being here to help spread the news. So one of the themes of this morning is our partnership with you. We are, we consider you our partners. And we're going to talk about that in a variety of ways today. Many of you have come a long way to travel to be here, and we really appreciate that. And I want to start by actually focusing on two particular people who actually came 18,000 kilometers to be with us today. That's Patrick and Emma Kate from Queenstown, New Zealand. So if you could stand up. <laughs> 18,000 kilometers. Now we have, we have eight Kiwis here. We have 80 Aussies. Aussies, come on, you guys are always noisy, come on. Yeah, there you go. Um, but we wanted to feature uh, a couple of them right here. Uh, Patrick and Emma Kate, thank you for making the trip. Why did you come? Why did you come to the Open? Um, we've been hosting it's, for... Hold that up just a little bit there. We've been hosting for less than a year now, but it's been transformational for us. Um, the way we've connected with our community, with the rest of the world, um, in Pat particular with um, other hosts in, in the Queenstown region, has been so amazing that we thought, let's, let's get to know other people. And, and uh, living in the South Island of New Zealand, which most people will know is populated with orcs and hobbits and uh, the odd dragon, we thought it'd be great to, to feel real people and see what it was like to be with them. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> well, you're also a community organizer there too, as well. So we, right. we really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. So um, tell us a little bit more about the, us as your partner. So Airbnb is your partner. What is it that we are doing well? And what are the things that we could actually improve upon? Um, we think... The, the website, the way that we can connect with our guests and the way they connect with us, the way our house looks on the internet is fantastic. And so kudos to the team that's, that's done all this really hard work in the web development because that basic tool has been amazing for, for all of us. And well, so, I appreciate that you're a, you're a photographer and Emma Kate, you're a designer and illustrator. So the fact you have it, you're very visual and I it's, you know, appreciate that coming from you. So, so that's been amazing, and also just the ability to, um, to work with real people, our, our, our friend Elena in Sydney and Asia in San Francisco, just connecting with people's faces and saying, these are the people we're collaborating with, so we're not working with a website, we're working with people like you guys. Great. Emma Kate, anything you want to say? Uh, that kind of sums it up. Um, yeah. oh, okay, good, good, good. <laughs> so let me ask, so uh, what can we improve upon? Um, this access, this ability, especially being way down, you know, in the middle of the South Island of New Zealand, being way far away, it's having access to people. And, and we really picked up on this during the conference, that you guys are accessible, that we can, that we can reach out and say, here's this question, or here's this issue, or here's this opportunity, mm -hmm. and have a face, or somebody get back to us quickly, that means a lot. So having that kind of accessibility to Airbnb and to each other has been a really So important. just improving that over time yes. would be great. Yes. Great. Okay, last question. 
Have you ever gone bungee jumping? <laughs> now, I think bungee jumping started in New Zealand. That's is right. that right? Yeah, we're about Emma Kate, is that you? No, 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 okay. <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, we're about 20 minutes away from where it all started, but we oh. have never taken the leap, no. Never taken the leap. <laughs> Anybody else take the leap here before? Well, congratulations. So th first of all, thank you to both of you for actually showing up 18,000 kilometers and being almost on stage. Thank <laughs> you. Very so when it comes to being a host, especially a new host, it can often feel like bungee jumping. It feels like, ah, I'm making the leap. And it feels like there's a certain amount of risk involved. So what I'm going to talk about now is how are we here to support you as the safety net when risks do come up? Uh, and so I'm going to talk about two new ways in which we're doing that. Um, the first one uh, relates to a program that we've actually had in place uh, for a few years now, actually four years, it's called the Host Guarantee Program. Started in the United States, and we were able to give a reimbursement of a million dollars U.S. to any host who has damage at their property. And now it's actually currently in 38 uh, countries across the U.S. I'm sorry, across the, the world. Oh, you know, very U.S.-centric. <laughs> sorry about that. So 38 countries across the world. As of December 10th, less than a month from now, we're taking this program of a million dollar guarantee and we're spreading it over the whole world. Every single country. So the host guarantee means that you've got the safety net. If something goes wrong, our whole trust and safety team is ready there and accessible so they can actually help solve the problem and potentially do a reimbursement if, there, if, something is, if there's actually been damage. Okay, that's an example of property damage. But what happens when it's not property damage, but maybe somebody actually accidentally gets hurt? Somebody actually trips and falls in your home or somewhere around your home? Well, we've had something called the Host Protection Insurance Program in place since January. Uh, since January, we've actually had it in the U.S. And we're very proud to announce just a few weeks ago that we've now taken it to 16 other uh, places in the world, 16 other countries, uh, and just like the Host Guarantee Program, this is a program that we want to take for, uh, throughout the whole world. It's not there yet, but we're in 16 places, and what does that mean? It means that you have liability insurance that can be beyond your own insurance. Before this, it, it, the insurance program we had was what we call secondary insurance. Now it's primary insurance, and if somebody has a trip and a fall, we're here to help support you on this. And as I said, this is a program we want to take throughout the whole world as well. So we're starting with these 16 countries. Now let me just be clear about one thing though. We can be a safety net, but you as our hosts and as the caretakers of your guests, you need to keep an eye on safety at home. You need to sort of make sure, okay, am I doing a good job of creating a space where people are less likely to trip and fall? And that's your responsibility. And we really appreciate how much care and attention you pay to that. So let me actually go on to the third thing I'm going to talk about. And that is super host premium support. Globally, 7%, a little over 7% of our hosts globally are super hosts. Here today, more than 38% of you are super hosts. Very impressive. For those of you who don't understand super host, it doesn't mean you're, you're our busiest host necessarily. Super host is not the busiest host. In fact, you only have to have 10 guests per year to become a super host. But they're actually the hosts who actually, on four different metrics, score the highest uh, within the company. So, those who are super hosts, we want to give you some additional premium support. Um, we've given you priority access uh, for, for calls when there's a CX issue, but now we actually have a super host premium support team with people on the phone in 80% of, of the world who actually can address your, your problems immediately and actually build a relationship with you. 
because our super hosts do a lot of business. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. What this means is actually there'll be a, an additional level of support and a relationship you will be building with that phone team in your area who are specifically Superhost Premium Supports uh, CX team. So for those of you who say, well, I'm one of those 62% here who is not a Superhost. What about us? Well, I will say, yeah, yeah. So what I would say is, number one, is aspire to be a Superhost. <laughs> and actually... Uh, on this stage, uh, after the main plenary keynote session to this morning, uh, we have Brian Jung, who's the head of our Superhost program, here with five Superhosts on stage. So if you haven't signed up for something else or you didn't get into what you wanted to, right here, at, I think starting at 12, 15 or 12, 30, um, you're going to see Superhosts. And they're going to talk about it. how do you become a Superhost. So beyond that, all I can say is we're just, what we try to do initially is give the best support to our best hosts who are doing the best, and then we actually try to filter it to everybody else over time. So that anything we try to do to super hosts over time, we try to give it to everybody. So let me actually finish up by just saying the following. I really appreciate that you made the trek here, and I appreciate that you actually think of us as your partner. For many of you, you have multiple choices of where you can list your property. There are all kinds of other sites similar to Airbnb. But I hope you will understand that very few of those other sites, in fact, I don't think any of them, do an Airbnb open or their own version of an open. Is that right? Have you ever been to anything like this from any of those other sites? No? Yes, you have. Was it good? No? Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, all I can say is we take the partnership we have with you and the relationship we have with you extremely seriously. So to talk about the partnership and take it one step further, um, it's not just about how do we solve problems when they come up, like with insurance, but it's also how do we deliver more guests to your doorstep? And yes, you like that. Well, the next two presenters are going to talk about that in uh, quite a bit of detail. Right now, I'd like to introduce our head of global operations, Varsha Rao, who's going to come up and talk about how the exciting trends in travel and how Airbnb is taking advantage of those. So please welcome Varsha Rao.